So this rounds match. It's going to be six rounds, three minutes each. 20 second break between rounds. You win a fall via pin, submission, or count out. Once the fall occurs, that round immediately ends on to the next round. First to win two falls decides the winner. A DQ or a KO is an instant finish. Okay. It's a little complicated, but it all makes sense. Lash Legends is, is on the phone when Malik Blade just walks by and Lash interrupts him and starts to, as no way to put it, run her mouth. To be continued. Wes Lee versus Trick Williams in the rounds match. So we get the tail of the tape screen, which includes not only intangibles, which are self-confidence for Trick and courage, comma, tenacity for Wes Lee. We also get accolades for Wes, former two-time NXT tag champ, 2021 Dusty Classic winner. For Trick Williams, best-looking superstar on the NXT roster, and future Ring Magazine Fighter of the Year. And there's asterisks that both say provided by Trick Williams. I loved everything about that. <laughs> Every detail about that I loved. So the first round, both guys have boxing gloves on for some reason. They do... <laughs> I was, The second this started, I was like, what in the fuck <laughs> is going on, dude? First, the six fucking rules, which weren't that complicated, but do we need six fucking rules... And then they start in boxing gloves. Yes. And they, they have this horrible... And screaming, and they were not good boxing. Fucking horrible we boxing, man. We watched that whole brawl for all. Most of those fights, and granted, they were shoots, but most of them were better than this fake boxing Well, match. Trick Williams looked like he had a clue. Wesley did Kinda. not look like he had a clue at all. And, uh, and it's horrible. And then the second round starts, and they just fucking take the gloves off. Yes. So I'm like, why did... There was nothing in the rules that said round one is gloves, round no. two is no gloves. No. And then later, Trick like puts on one glove. Well, this is okay. Well, this is okay. <laughs> so this the first round, it's all boxing, it's terrible boxing. The round ends. Carmelo goes to corner Trick, and Trick <laughs> he's an honest man. Trick looks Carmelo in the eye and just says, He whooped my ass. <laughs> I laughed. So they take the gloves off, now they're doing wrestling. Uh, there's a distraction. Trick it's a rolling big boot to win the first fall. Yeah, the thing with the boxing also was like Trick moved well, and like when he would throw jabs and you know straight rights, it looked pretty good. But then he would have to miss something, and he'd just do this wild fucking slow ass haymaker. I was like, God. And they had to try to get their hands up and then hit each other in the head, and I was like, God, this is brutal. So after the third round. Carmelo convinces Trick to put one of the gloves back on. Trick has no idea what's going on until he puts this glove on and you can see the light bulb go off in his head as he realizes Carmelo has gimmicked this glove. There's a brick in there or something. So round four, the entire round is Trick fighting with one glove like that guy from UFC many years ago. And he can't land the punch. He keeps missing punches over and over and over again. Uh, at the end of the round, he gets pinned on a roll-up, so it's one-to-one, -one, but he pops up out of that roll-up, and he hits a punch with that loaded glove, and Wesley appears to be knocked out. But round five starts. It's not a knockout. It's well, the knockout not a DQ. wasn't during the round. But that means see. it was after the round, so it should be a DQ. Well, you think... One way or another, that should have ended the fight. You'd think so, yeah. So, they start doing suplexes, and... Uh, and uh, Wes eventually misses a, excuse me, a trick, misses a kick, gets his foot caught in the ropes. Wes runs wild. Then Wes goes to put a glove back on. He punches Trick, and he pins him and wins the match. This was wacky. It was it, weird because like, was, there, there was a lot about it that was fucking awful, but I yes. didn't hate it. Dude, I will go, uh, there was a lot about it that was fucking awful, but I liked it. Yeah, it was weird. It was like, I don't know if it was the story or... It was something different. That when they got the gloves off, Wesley's actually a really good worker. Yeah. You know, every, every round played into the next round, so it wasn't just like a bunch of bullshit. That's true. I mean, if they hadn't done the boxing, it probably would have been way better. But, and the boxing was only one round. Right. So at the end of the day, I thought, eh, this was fine. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was, it was good. overly complicated yeah. and kind of goofy. It was very goofy. I don't, I don't know who had the idea to do it or what, what it's necessarily going to lead to. But hey, listen, we watch NXT every week, and about ninety-five percent of the matches are exactly the same. Exactly the same. This wasn't. You know what it was? That. It was a field trip. 
This was a field trip. And I trip. like the field trips in wrestling. It was a field trip. Yeah. That's a great way to put it. It was a field trip. So Wesley wins. You know, Tom, it was abundantly clear this week that I just don't get enough respect. Excuse me? I feel I deserve a little bit of credit for your, your recent success. You want to take credit for my victory in the G1 Climax? You can fuck off. Why don't you put your money where your little mouth is and get in the ring with me? No. If you, if you really want to take credit for this shit. There's a tweet from August 3rd. Who wants to make it happen? I'll team with Debbie Malenko. Why don't you call up Billy Starks and why don't you step in the ring against me and her, huh? I'll text her right now. I'll be in Chicago all out weekend. How about that? I'll call up Mikey. The black label? Yeah. Debbie, are you available all out weekend? Look at those arms. Brian's not even in ring shape for this. Show me yours, Tom. Huh? Look at this. Go back and forth. Huh? Go back. Jared, put yours up. Go back. 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 Oh, yeah. Who's not in ring shape now, motherfucker? She can't do it. She can't do it? She can't do it. This is like when we grappled, Brian, and you clearly tapped. Oh, fuck off. I... What a dick. Oh, so now now you're getting fired up? Well, fuck, dude. You know, we can settle this. God. You know, we can settle this. You meet me in Chicago. Buddy. I'm I'm in. You've agreed. Yeah, I've agreed because you don't have Basically. a fucking partner. I will beat dude. your ass silly. <laughs> yeah. I'm texting him right now. Mikey, by the way, okay. Yes, all caps. I'm not the only killer that you're going to be in there with, Brian. Killer Kelly. See you in Chicago. Although I, I was just alerted that the show is at 11 o'clock p.m., so I, I may have to pull out. That's past my bedtime. So if you go on All Out Weekend, Black Label Pro, Friday, September 2nd. I can't wait to beat your ass. Not going to happen. It's been years in the making.